So today, pulling the sump off to put the oil drain in. And um, I think I counted 33 bolts. I hold it up. But to get to two bolts, you've got to take these little side transmission supports off. There's one here, and there's one on the other side. I already pulled that one out, but um, yeah. Now the sump's, once I pull that off, we'll give it a slight tap, and hopefully she comes off. And then I'll drill the hole on the side and put the fitting in. So all I've done to get the sump off, is give it a slight tap up here with the soft mallet literally falling down which is good so we'll pull this gasket off as well oh that's brittle as I'll clean all that up and I'll um, throw the new one on with the fitting in the sump for the drain so maybe just before you pull the sump off drop your sway bar link down and remove your drag link just swing it over to one side then the sump will come straight out. So far everything's looking okay. Right. So with the sump off now, I've just run around, scraped all the gasket off the best I could, and then I've ran the die grinder with a buffing pad just to clean all the surface up. I'll give that a degrease and a wash out in a minute. Then what I've done on the side here, between the two bolt holes to put the brass fitting in, all I've done is traced around it, and then I'll measure the diameter of that, which I'm pretty sure was 24 mil, center punch it, and then slowly drill it out to the um, maybe 23-ish, and then put some thread sealant on here and wind her in. Another way of doing it is braze welding it in. So I'll drill a pilot hole first, so it's bang in the center of where I want it. Let's use one of these step drill bits and go down to where I've marked it. Just go gradually and then, uh, yeah, I reckon the best way would be, I'll put three bond on there, we use that quite regularly and it's a good sealant once it goes hard. Then we'll uh, give her a wash out and slap her back up. So here we go, there's the final outcome. Giving it all degrease out, use some brake clean, blown it out with compressed air and cleaned it all up. Now I'll uh, put some three bond onto here and just make it take it. 27 mil spanner, just keep feeding it until it's flush. So it's started. Again, I think the best way would be to braze weld it in, but I don't have those resources. So today we'll see how we go with that. So that's gone home nicely, it basically cut its own way in. So I'll just clean that up. <coughs> Make sure it's all looking a bit more nicer. And let that set. And um, there's the oil drain. There we go. This is in nice. I'm happy with that. Gonna clean the bottom of the engine off, put it back on. So before putting the sump back on, I've just gone around the bottom of the engine, cleaned all the residual gasket off, brake cleaned it all, and uh, I just put a bit of sealant just on the sump to hold the gasket in place, and now I'll fit her up and uh, see how we go. So with the sump bolted back up, I just started in the middle and worked opposite. 
So I start on these bolts here to the opposite side and then move all the way forward. Then all the way and back. I had one little problem child up the back here, which goes into the aluminium block for your rear main seal. So all I did, I found in my nuts and bolts something just a little bit bigger and uh, made it take it. I'm hoping it'll be okay, but I'll uh, find out down the track, I guess. So now the turbo drain should be fine. And what I'll do is I'll turn the car over until I have engine oil coming out of the oil drain and then I'll connect her up. So there we go, turbo drain line fitted. Just took small sections off at a time and it's easier to cut it off than what it is to uh, add it on. And then um, what we'll do now so I'll just leave this off and uh, turn it over until I got oil coming out of here to make sure the turbo's getting oil from the engine. I've already pre-oiled it and go from there. What I'm doing at the moment is just priming up the turbo, making sure I've got oil pressure. I've done this about three times for about 10 seconds each and uh, giving it a decent break in between. So um, it wasn't reading on the gauge, but I've got oil coming out. So now I'm, I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna fit that now. Now I know I've got oil coming out there. We'll go from there. I'll pressure test the cooling system next. Make sure I've got no leaks.